up on top of the mountain. Took about two hours to get here. Trying to do a ptarmigan hunt before the end of the season. You can see how high up we are. We're up here. I really wanted to try out my new boots. Mindles. I came on up here the other day to try the ptarmigan hunt. And whenever I got down, my legs and my knees were killing me. So I knew I needed to get a new pair of boots. So I did. Got some Mindles. German made. And let me tell you, it's night and day going up and down this mountain with the right pair of boots on. So if you're one of those like me that wants to go cheap and you don't need a good pair of boots, you need to grow up and buy a good pair of boots because it is definitely all the difference in the world. If you don't have them, you don't get to see this. That's Beaver Inlet, Alaska over there. The other side of Unalaska Island. I can see the other side of the island. That's Dutch Harbor over there. I'm in the middle. Because I got the right pair of boots. I got one ptarmigan. Hoping to get five or six more. I keep forgetting to take video. You just gotta keep bouncing them around. There's two more up here. Up there, one of them's bleeding. And there's another one down here on this ice patch. On my way back, I got into a mess of them. And they're way up here. I can't see that one anymore. He might be on down the hill. But there's two more up there I gotta go get. Got five in the bag. Four more right there. Yep. Some good eating. Good eating. <sighs> Mendel boots. You better get you some. They come with free ptarmigan. I got all but one. And I know I hit him going away from me. I don't think I killed him. I don't see him anywhere down there. No surprise you. He'd be walking and all of a sudden look up. And he'll be just sitting there looking at you. So I might find him on the way out or I might run across him again. He didn't land anywhere close, I can tell you that. Kept on trucking to the bottom down there somewhere. And I gotta make my way all the way to the road coming up by the water down there. Very good ways to go. Pretty awesome hunt. Get some boots. I gotta take a little break. But my Stoger shotgun. I'm gonna do a commercial. I'm up here in blue jeans. Ugh. These are uh, Mindel vacuums. Now I wear 11 and a half in every boot I've ever worn. I wear 11 and a half. Uh, it says to order a half size small, so I did. And they fit perfect. MFS vacuum. I think that's what it says on the side right there. <clears throat> so, I've probably done seven miles today. Between six and seven, I would say. I didn't break them in at all. Um, took them out of the box. I wore them around the room a little while to make sure that they fit. And my toes weren't touching the edge and all that. And then I jumped in the truck. And I came out here hunting. And you can see what I'm walking on. Shale. And uh, it's just a mixture of what we call muskeg or moss. 
with a little bit of grass and real loose gravel. I mean, it's kind of what you would find mountain goats in. There's no mountain goats out here, but that's what you would find. You'd find mountain goats in this kind of terrain. So, um, but uh, my biggest issue with my other boots is whenever I was going down, my toes would shove into the front of my boots whenever I was going downhill with a weight on my back. Like if I was carrying a, a goat or a deer or something out. And they sucked. These, the soles are extremely stiff. They say that you can put crampons on them. Uh, not extremely stiff. They have a little bit of flex, but they're they're stiff. And for for hiking, they're not good. But for up here, I've been able to side hill a hundred times better than I've ever been able to side hill before in my other cheap Cabela's boots. I have not had any problem side hilling on this rock, moving around. Uh, it's got really nice loops, no sharp edges to cut your laces. I do have a feeling that the laces will fray on them, but the leather is very nice. It's got a leather upper instead of uh, some kind of piece of crap nylon or something. Leather right there with cushioning, leather tongue. They're waterproof, rubber around the edge. Looks to be like very good quality. $300, they ought to be good quality. They're very nice boots. However, they say you don't have to break them in. I think you do. Both my big toes, uh, I can tell they're starting to get a little sore on the bottom, on the balls of my big toe. And right here on both legs where this, this right here pushes in to my leg, that's why I undid this top lace to see if it would let it loosen up a little bit. It really hurts. It really hurts. So I'm hoping that uh, it'll just conform to my foot and it'll, it'll, it won't hurt as much after I wear them three or four times. Other than that, um, it's a little sore on the outside of my foot right there. I do not have a wide foot. I never wear a wide anything. <sighs> It's a little bit sore right there, but I have been, the, the downhill side has been on my left for the most part of this hunt. So I can, I can say that might be why that is, but, uh, and hopefully after two or three hunts, it won't hurt there anymore. Hopefully these are just pressure points that are getting broken. My other foot, um, it's basically the exact same thing, except it doesn't hurt the outside right there. That doesn't bother me. Underneath my big toe is starting to get uh, pretty sore. And up on top, just like the other one right there, where it's pushing in to the inside of my leg, that's getting sore. But let me tell you something, uh, I'll take those pressure points over hiking in the same boots that I've had for the past five years. I can tell you that these things make a world of difference. I literally got up here probably in a half to a third the time that I normally would get up here just because I had the foundation to be able to plant my foot and go. I still had to stop, catch my breath because I'm a fatty fat fat. But other than that, I mean, I got up here in a, in a half to a third the time. I really did. I mean, that's a long way down. It ain't like you're going to the top of Everest or nothing, but whenever you are you got five or six hours to go 2,000 feet and do a ptarmigan hunt that you got to go a mile and a half or so once you're on top to get to them, you know, you need, you need to be able to move. So I like them. And we'll take pictures of the tarmigan, hopefully, whenever I get down.